the micro edge has been around almost as long as the edge bar itself. It first came out with J tubes. I believe the V tube version did not have a micro edge version, but that means within the first few years of the bar coming out, the micro was available. Um, it was originally and for a very long time two of whatever was in the corner of an edge whether that be J tubes or in this case turbo tubes and remotely powered by usually a DOT rated uh, power supply uh, mounted on a west coast uh, what they called it mirror bracket or um, in a tow package there were a couple other options but uh, it was always pretty much a uh, front and side warning or 270 or however many degrees they rated it non 360 light um, only much later did uh, there become 360 options which is why this one is unusual um, all I did was put green lenses on it it was amber and clear but it has a flashing or steady burn light in the alley position on what would actually be the inner edge pointing back at the vehicle if it were mounted as they were normally mounted. Um, the older versions generally faced the V uh, outward so the second end cap would be blank and it would be pointing back at the vehicle. So having anything in that position was pretty pointless. And these are the J-tube style uh, shown marketed to a wrecker. Um, the, I, here's the turbo tur tube version marketed with the same old picture to wrecker drivers or companies. Um, here's the Toman's version again um, with the latest turbo tubes at that time in the late 90s. Um, there's the West Coast bracket again. I mean, everything's pretty much business as usual as long as you have those turbo tubes involved until this, which was the 360 version, but it actually put a third linear strobe in the back. Um, not what we're seeing here. Uh, this is what we're seeing here if it had a twin in amber, which is how I picture it because uh, DOT stuff, um, being green and white has an amber and white counterpart in my mind because of Ohio DOT but that's just how I made this bar but maybe it could be used like this with uh, like load lights for a wrecker or bed lights for a dump truck um, Ohio's DOT trucks have green white amber white um, but they're not set up like this either they're the 400 series this would be if it was on a dump truck maybe their bed lights but again I'm not sure how beneficial that is it seems like an odd setup um, the Patriot came along it got a micro version um, at the same time the snow sun fog uh, concept the synchronized halogen and strobes um, that was seen in the micro um, this doesn't look like it would be that because you wouldn't see the strobe at the same t time as the halogen. Um, a 5mm LED version uh, came out, which was also 360, but again, all warning. Um, the 4-lamp version is pictured incorrectly in the diagram here. It was actually 400 series lights. Um, and that version is still made today in the Freedom. The Micro has kind of mirrored the edge on into the Freedom throughout the years and I've never seen a version with anything in the alley light position on the back. Um, it just it doesn't seem like it would be useful. Um, I'm not sure what this was for. It might be custom. It doesn't look custom. It uh, has what I would consider very factory wiring and the uh, alley bracket being used is in a notch in the frame that doesn't look like it was cut in the dark with a wood saw so uh, it doesn't look like a hack job but I mean it very well could be uh, when I got it, it was uh, as you see it, except the green was amber. Um, so you were amber and white. 
I suppose you could really make it any color you wanted. Um, you would lose the ability to make the halogen a floodlight if you made it anything but white or possibly amber, which means your halogen light is always going to be a clear, no matter what color you make the rest of the of the bar. And as seen here, green and clear is not a total uh, foreign concept at the time that this bar came out. Um, green and clear was in use in a, some areas. Uh, security companies were using it. That's what the mini bars from. Um, but the bar in general, um, the micro, is uh, not something that had a whole lot of options and it had a pretty niche sort of market. So to see it customized was interesting to me from the standpoint of who would customize it if not Whalen and who would order it customized. Um, my first thought was a large uh, state's Department of Transportation so I searched to see if uh, there's any like known users of this setup like maybe a specific state or municipality uh, used these and I've come up pretty empty-handed on that search um, usually I can find stuff like that uh, there's no this isn't like the specific Georgia setup um, and again keep in mind that you should be looking at clear and amber uh, the amber was in pretty bad shape and I thought green and clear would be interesting because my mini edge is green and clear it would look nice alongside of it um, but that aside the clear um, alley flasher and the uh, clear rear end cap are the way it was so I've been digging around trying to see in my literature just any sort of mention at all of optional flood, optional spot, optional flashing halogen. I found nothing. Um, so if anybody has any information as to an agency, municipality, state, whatever that used this setup, I would be interested to know. Um, until I have some literature from Whalen or I see it on a vehicle in a picture I'm probably just gonna assume that someone made this um, but whoever did made it pretty uh, pretty factory the uh, the plugs the uh, the brackets everything in this looks like it was ordered this way I'm running it off of a um, multi-pattern um, early multi-pattern power supply that uh, would have been around around the time this was made which was like very late 90s um, right before the 9m version came out so that's why it's kind of in the flash pattern it's in action flash that would have been that and comet would have been the patterns you would have found this in so as for right now, it's just going to kind of sit on my uh, collection next to the green and clear mini edge. And I'll be just happy with the fact that it's a, a nicely done uh, homemade job, if nothing else. But uh, hit me up in the comments if you have any information as to having seen a um, halogen in the alley light position micro edge in the wild anywhere. Uh, other than that, you've got a little bit of uh, slow motion footage here that uh, will become a bit redundant for you if uh, you aren't already super intrigued by this uh, device. Um, and also disclaim that it's sitting on an electrical junction box because uh, it came with a stud mount, uh, which could have gone on a mirror bracket or could have gone straight onto like a dump bed. but it won't stand up on that on its own so that junction box is not part of the bar so if you're uh, thinking that that may aid your search that will not it was on a simple stud mount when I got it
So uh, happy hunting. Let me know what you guys find. Um, I'll be looking forward to reading the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.